What is happening everyone? Welcome to the channel. Today I wanted to go over a topic that a lot of people ask me about frequently, which is how do you make money and travel so much? How do you not just go like completely broke? So I wanted to come on here and make a video about one way that I'm able to make money through videography. Um, it's a very passive way and you can use footage that you've already shot and you have just sitting around in extra hard drives and that is stock footage. So if you're not familiar, what is stock footage? So you can think of stock footage as kind of a marketplace for clips. Like think of amazon.com if you could just buy video clips that you needed. So a good example is I think around last June or July, me and my friend Kevin were shooting a documentary in Puerto Rico about the hurricane that had happened there the year earlier. And we had all this footage for a documentary from when we were actually there filming. But we weren't there for the storm, so we needed like clips from the actual storm. So what we did was we went to a website called Pond5 and we searched Hurricane Maria footage. And a bunch of clips popped up and we were able to purchase each individual clip to use in our documentary. Now Pond5 is just one of several different stock footage sites. So there is Pond5, there's Shutterstock, there's Storyblocks, there's Getty, and I believe three more big ones. And what you can do is sell clips that you already have on these marketplaces. So it doesn't have to be a hurricane to be worthy to upload to these sites. Um, if it's interesting to you and you think someone else would be interested in it, then it's probably a good clip to upload onto these sites. A good example is one of my friends sold this clip. It's like, I'm pretty sure it's just this old Chinese lady like making soup. and. Over the course of like three months or something, he made like 500 bucks from this one clip. So I'm just gonna go to Pond5 down here and look for some super random clips. Uh, fighting Santa. And <laughs> sweet. So if you're filming a documentary and you want a video of Santa Claus, Fighting in the woods with robbers in slow motion, Pond5 is where you should go. Uh, point is, like, literally any type of clip can work on these websites. So if you have dusty hard drives sitting around with a bunch of footage that you've already shot, it's a really good way to monetize that footage. So two years ago, I was traveling around Thailand, and I was in this place called Rayleigh Beach, and I ran into this random Spanish dude, and he was cruising around with like a camera on a stabilizer. And I went up to him, I was like, dude, what are you shooting? Like, what's going on? And he went on to explain that he's just shooting stock footage. Um, so I had no idea what it was back then, but he explained to me that he literally just travels wherever he wants, whenever he wants, filming like any type of clip he wants, and he just sells them on Pond5 and actually made really decent money doing this. And he can pick and choose wherever he wants to go. He doesn't need to shoot a commercial job or anything. He can just film whatever he wants and upload it. Uh, so it's a really good way to get some flexibility if you want to travel to wherever you want. So the problem with star footage and the reason that I didn't get into it two years ago and it took me this long was because it's very intimidating and there's lots of steps to the process. So the first thing is actually shooting the video. You have to get to a location, you have to have the gear, and you have to get the clip. And then on the back end, there's a whole process called curation. And what curation consists of is and what, cur and what curation consists of, oh, that was really hard to say, is cutting down the clips to like 10 to 15 second bits. Then you have to color grade them, you have to make them look pretty. Then you have to upload them to all the different stock footage sites. And then before you publish them, you have to do all the metadata. So you have to add tags to them all. You have to make sure that someone who's searching for a river in Costa Rica will find your clip. Rewind about six months ago. My friend introduced me to the magical solution to all these problems. And it's called Blackbox. So what Blackbox does is it acts as a hub. So if you upload your stock footage clips to Blackbox, it will then in turn upload them to all the stock footage sites. But I still knew that I personally didn't have time to do all the curation, all the cutting down, coloring, and uploading. And I wanted a solution that completely automated the process for me so I didn't have to worry about it at all. That way I can spend my time focusing on bigger projects. And this second step is where the magic of Blackbox comes into play. 
If you want to curate your content, feel free, you can do that through Blackbox. But if you don't want to do that like myself, I wanted to completely automate everything, you can actually find a curator for your content. So Blackbox is a huge collaborative platform, um, which is really why I love it. And it has this big Facebook group, and you can just go into the Facebook group and type like, hey, I am looking for a curator. Is anyone interested in curating my content? And that's exactly what I did. I posted a video that just had some examples of my clips and I was like, yo, I'm looking for a curator. Is anyone interested in doing it? And I had a bunch of people reach out to me. Through that, over the next few days, I picked a curator and he's a rock star. He's really, really good at it and he fit my content really well. How Blackbox has it set up is you just give your curator a percentage of your total profits. The standard rate for that is anywhere between 40 and 50%. When I first heard that, I was like, whoa, that's a huge percentage of the clip. But the fact is, the curation part of the process is huge because you can have the coolest clip in the world, but if the metadata isn't good, no one's gonna find it. So sure, I could have paid a friend of mine like 15 bucks an hour to go through and upload all my clips and that, but they're not gonna be anywhere near as good as the guy that I found who does it full time. So he knows what works, he knows what doesn't. And since he's on a percentage basis, he has a really big incentive to get the clips uploaded quickly and do them really well because if he makes money, I make money. If I make money, he makes money. It's this big collaborative thing where everyone's working together and that's why I really love it. So if you have hard drives just sitting around collecting dust, Blackbox is the best way to monetize that. And if you want, fully automate the process. Anyways, I hope that explains at least my process and gives you some ideas if you want to get involved. If you do want to sign up for Blackbox, there's a link down in the description. It is an affiliate link, so if you end up signing up for Blackbox and sell clips, Blackbox will give me a small percentage of their cut when you do sell clips. So if you learned anything in this video and you want to support me, um, if you signed up through that link in the description, that would mean a lot to me. That's it for this video. If you liked this content and you want to see more tutorial type videos like this, let me know in the comments down below. I'll definitely still be doing cinematic stuff, but if I can offer any value to you guys and help you out with any tutorial videos, I'm happy to put those together as well. So if you have suggestions, put them down here. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video.